Hi, this video will cover how to upload photos to your GLG page. This is important as our parents like to see the photos of their children. Um, it's one of the reasons they come to your website so you can tell them other information you want them to have. So it's important to keep your photos updated and fresh and to have them always available on your site. Most GLG pages use this format to display their photos. It's called the slideshow format and is the preferred one. Given that there are several classes in each, gra in each grade level except for um, the upper grades, this uh, having one slideshow means that you will have to coordinate whose photos are in them or how you get photos from every single class into the slideshow. You can only have one slideshow on any GLG page. Some classes, some grade levels, have a different way to display their photos. You can still use this method to upload, though there are other methods to upload as well for those uh, pages. So first you go obviously to your page, then you click on View All Site Content. It's important to note that this only works on Internet Explorer browsers. If you use Chrome for most things, as I do, it's my preferred browser, go back to Internet Explorer for uh, uploading your photos. Uh, the GLG really is a Microsoft product and works better um, in Internet Explorer. You cannot use this method I'm going to show you using Chrome or anything but Internet Explorer. So when you click on View All Site Content, you'll see all of your folders. These folders is, are where all of your information that goes on your page are held. Under Picture Libraries, you'll see a listing of picture libraries. Some grade levels have multiple ones because they're displaying their photos separately, and so they'll have a folder for every single uh, class in that grade level. But usually, if you're using a slideshow, you'll simply have a folder called Pictures, so click on it. Now you want to go to Upload. And you can choose Upload One Photo or Upload Multiple Pictures. I'm going to show you Upload Multiple Pictures. You will get this warning. Say Allow. This automatically opens your Microsoft Office Photo or Picture Manager that I've covered in the video on how to um, minimize or how to compress your photos, which you should have already done before you come, uh, uh, you get ready to upload your photos. You'll see on the right my picture shortcuts, which I've explained in the other video how to uh, set up your picture shortcuts. I'm going to click down to the folder where my photos that I want to upload are kept. I called it small. You can call it anything you want as long as you recognize that that is where you have the photos that you are storing. Do not use photos from your USB drive or the network for this upload. It will take longer. Make sure these photos are on your computer before you start this. Click small. Now here are the photos. I can choose them individually to upload by just clicking on one. I can hold control down when I click to hold several click on several or choose several that are not next to each other or I can hold I can click on one and hold my shift key down to click on the next to select several in the row. I want to send to the right the upload settings says send original pictures and I'm just going to click upload and close. And I've already I've done this one so I'm just going to click replace all. It will only ask you that if you're uploading the same photos. It will ask you to log in again. Make sure you do this. If your network is slow, of course all of this will be slower. Sometimes it takes a while to upload Microsoft Office pictures to, to pull that up. Um, and then I'm done. And the photos are now on in my GLG page.